Hey everyone, welcome to the Inside Scoop. I'm CNET's Cara Suboy, joined by senior writer Shara Tipkin. And here we are in San Francisco outside of the Yerba Buena Center for the Arts. This is where the big Apple event will be held Monday, March 9th. What do we know about this event? Yeah, the invite said spring forward, which indicates we're going to hear about the watch. Yes. Yeah. And what about the watch specifically? Pricing, hopefully? Yeah, pricing. So in September, they showed it off. We got to see what it looks like. They talked a little bit about one of some of the things it will be able to do, mm -hmm. but we still need a lot more details. So we know it starts at 349 but it could go up a lot from there. Into five digits. I mean, $10,000 yeah. possibly. Yeah, yeah. Some people are talking about that. Um, you know, the gold version is going to be expensive. Mm -hmm. We just don't know quite how expensive. <laughs> yeah. And what about some of the functionality in apps? Yeah, so we, we learned a little bit about some of the things it can do, like you can use Apple Pay, uh, you can do health and fitness tracking, you can unlock your hotel room door with the watch. We're going to learn a lot more about some of the other functionalities. We're hoping to see a lot more third-party apps as well, so some of these other companies making, making apps for the watch. Now besides the watch, are we expecting Apple to release any other product information or news? Apple tends to use its events to talk about at least a couple products, so along with the watch we're probably going to see Mac news. Last fall we had updates to the Mac Mini and the iMac, but the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro are probably going to see an update. What kind of updates are you expecting? The new Intel processors just came out, so we're going to see at least that update. We also could see things like Touch ID being integrated into huh. the laptops. Um, we're also really hoping for a Retina display on the MacBook Air. We also could see new Apple TVs. The hardware on the current one is three years old. Since that came out, we've had the Chromecast and the Amazon Fire TV. We've seen new Roku sticks, so we really need an update from Apple on that. But from a product standpoint, it's all about this watch. Yeah. And uh, where do you think this watch will stand as far as the competition goes and as far as attracting mainstream appeal? I mean, a little early to tell, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, it's a little early to tell, but Apple has such a strong brand, and, you know, they're going to be marketing this. People are not going to be able to get away from knowing that this exists. <laughs> So people really think that Apple is going to have a better chance than the smartwatches we've already seen. Mm -hmm. There was a report that came out that they'll be the number one sm smartwatch maker this year wow. um, and bumping Samsung to number two. And the release date for this watch is still a little unknown, but thinking April? Yeah, they said it's going to start shipping in April. Um, we could get a surprise and they could say, oh, it's actually going to come in late March. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's something we're just going to have to wait and see. Wait and see. All right. Thank you so much, Shar. Be sure to stay tuned to CNET.com for live blogs and all sorts of related news that comes out of Apple's event on Monday. You've been watching the Inside Scoop. I'm Kara Suboy, joined by Shara Tipkin.